Good morning guys. Good morning everyone. So welcome to Quick Math. So I I recorded this video for quick uh quick access to mathematics concepts and others. So you have you have your idea of what will be the uh, topics that you are going to explore more. Okay, so we have the language of math. The same with English, mathematics has its own language also. So when we speak of language, we define language, of course, as a complex system of words and symbols, either spoken or written, used by a particular community as a means of communication. What does this mean? So when we speak of language, this is a particular spoken or written communication for the people to, of course, understand and, of course, comprehend each other. So this is for English or for communication purposes. But what about in mathematics? So we have also several ways in mathematics uh, to communicate with the others. So we have, of course, using the mathematical symbols. Okay, so when you look at the symbols, these are the most common symbols and there are a lot of symbols. Okay, so these are the most common symbols. So when you, when you see this symbol like this one, this cross, so the meaning or the meaning of this is addition. So that means you're going to add or you're going to uh, put together certain numbers. So example, 5 plus 10, it is understood that you're going to combine 5 and 10. So we have 15. Then if you're going to see this symbol, the dash, so this means subtraction. So that means you're going to take away a certain number from a particular number. And of course, this uh, x, so this x uh, means multiplication. So when we speak of multiplication, so a number is being added several times. Okay, so say for example, 20 times 10 means you're going to add 20 10 times. So we have 200. And the rest of the symbols, we have divide, we have this grouping symbols, we have the brackets, the parentheses, and the braces. So these mathematical symbols usually forms the language of math. Okay? So what are the characteristics of mathematics language? The characteristics of mathematics language, number one, it's precise. So what do we mean by precise? So when we speak of precise, uh, you're able to make a very fine distinction. Okay? It is uh, for the mathematics to be precise. The language of math to be precise is able to make a very fine distinction. Concise means able to say things briefly. Okay, very concise. Okay, so if in English, uh, you, when you paraphrase a certain uh, word or phrase or you, when you paraphrase a certain sentence, you, uh, you compress, but the thought is there. So the same is true with uh, mathematics. It's concise and we have powerful so it means uh, you are able to express complex thoughts with relative ease. so it's powerful so sometimes many are afraid of mathematics because uh, they find it uh, very difficult to understand but the the particular symbols or the group of symbols are actually uh, expressing simple thoughts so that is powerful and of course uh, we have we are dealing also with variables so we know in algebra variables of course uh, substitute or it is it represents the unknown number okay and in mathematics variables always the variables means replacement it also means placeholder and also means a temporary name for a particular unknown number okay so example no matter what number might be chosen, if n is greater than 2, then its square is greater than 4. So if you're going back to your algebra in your high school, so this sum of words here means, of course, it entails or it means or it means a symbol. Say, for example, greater than, square, okay? So if you're going to 
try to change those um, words. Say, for example, no matter what number, N. So, because we are looking for a number, so we replace it by N. Might be chosen if N is greater than 2, then, then N squared is greater than 4. So, sometimes some of the mathematics uh, word problems uses variable. Okay, so use variable to write the following sentences more formally. So this will be your assignment if you happen if you happen to uh, if you happen to watch this particular short video. So are there numbers with the property that sum of their squares equals the square of their sum? So this will be the thought that you are going to ponder on. Okay, see you. Bye.